Hey guys, I want to share something with you that I think is really great, just really quick here, just a verse basically. Now I mentioned in a previous video how 1 Corinthians 15.51 says, Behold, I show you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Which basically means that all of us believers will not die, but we will be resurrected, okay? And we will have a new glorified spiritual body, okay? That's what that means. We shall not all sleep means... We all shall not sleep. We all shall not die, but we shall be changed, okay? We shall live. And you say, well, yeah, but Christians die still. But no, only our physical body dies, okay? And so a really good verse to help understand this as well, or a couple of verses, I think, is John eleven twenty five and 26. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead... Yet shall he live. And then Jesus says, And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Shall never die. Okay? We shall not all sleep. We all shall not sleep. That's what this means. That's the correct understanding of this. Don't get thrown off from the old English grammar here. Okay? We all shall not sleep, but we shall all be changed. Okay? Though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Okay, so I think John 11, verse 25 and 26, you know, is a key to understanding also 1 Corinthians 15, 51. This is speaking of the resurrection which takes place after death, when the Lord comes, and it is a spiritual uh, resurrection. Okay. God bless.